Hello, this is Tony from Kate's Crafty Closet, and today we're going to make this clean and simple, easy magnolia card. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I went ahead and did is I cut down a top fold and standard A2 size card with some 110 pound Nina Solo White Classic Crest cardstock. Then I went ahead and took this Gina Marie scalloped stitched rectangle die and I cut it out as well of some white cardstock. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to take out the inner panel right here and we're going to um, stamp a few items. First thing I did was, well I did this ahead of time because I went ahead and put this on my skin and cut a, skin, a whole bunch of these. This is the Magnolia from the Heels to You stamp set from Ink on 3 and all products that I use today will be linked in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. So we did that. There are coordinating dies for this stamp set in case you are interested in that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Put it where I might want it to be. Well, where I really technically want it to be. But, all right, and then I'm gonna grab some black ink. This is just some Versafine ink. And I'm going to grab the stamp set called Posies from Ink on 3. And there is a Thinking of You stamp on there that I really like the font of and the fact that it was perfect size. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my stamp. And as and I'm just going to stamp, like not being too forceful because small sentiments tend to be a little bit delicate. So you have to be careful of how you do that. But so that is that part of the card. So we're going to put the uh, panel to the side and then we're going to make sure you don't have ink on your fingers like I do. And we're going to grab our magnolia. And the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to grab a yellow marker. And today I'm using this chameleon marker right here. It's YL2. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab the center of that flower. Like growing up in New Orleans, um, magnolia trees were like plentiful. And I loved when they, they bloomed. It was just the amazing smell of it. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is like we're going to grab some liquid pixie dust from Ink on 3, which as there, you probably have watched my videos before, you notice that I use this a lot. So it's like one of my go-to items in my craft room, so I highly recommend it. And I went ahead and put some in a water brush and diluted it with a little bit of water. And I will go ahead and link that video in the uh, upper right-hand corner. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to squeeze... A little bit out on the side because it's just easier to control it that way and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over our magnolia here because we want it to shimmer and shine it's like I just love the sparkle of this liquid pixie dust it's just like like when you look at sparkle and glitter like how does it's like it puts a smile on your face and because I was using a little bit of a wet medium, that's why I went ahead and chose to use the uh, Versafine Black Onyx ink because it is watercolor friendly. And even though this is not watercolor, it's still, it's got water in it. So that way it wouldn't bleed everywhere. And if you wanna go ahead and paint or color in your image, you most certainly can and but I just want to do something really easy, really simple today to make this card. So let's bring back our little panel in here. We're going to grab a foam square. And we're going to go ahead and put that foam square onto our magnolia on the back. And then we're just going to pull off the release paper. And we're going to go ahead and line it up where we want it to go and that's perfectly fine to me like I'm gonna show you I don't know if you can see the shimmer uh, on the camera but rest assured it is awesome in person so next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is like I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put um, some more foam squares onto the back of our card for a little bit of dimension and just the fact that it'll separate itself from 
the rest of that die cut to give it a little bit more of a 3D look, which was what I'm kind of going for today. And these foam squares I pick up at the Dollar Tree um, because I like the fact that they're super large and I don't have to put as many, but yet still get a lot of coverage. And I always, every time I see them, I grab them because they don't always have these in stock. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the release paper on these as well. I think you can use a craft pick, but today I'm just gonna use um, my trusty fingers because it's, like I said in a prior video, this is one tool that I can never lose. I always know where it's at. It won't get absorbed into the abyss of my craft room. Because I don't know about you all, I have stuff that just tends to disappear. Um, like, you don't know where it is. Like, you just had it three seconds ago. Next thing you know, it's like, bye. It's gone. Okay, so we got that taken care of. We'll pull that to the side. And we're going to pull in our card base. And then we're going to pull in the outer frame, the scallop part. And we're going to go ahead and apply some arc glitter glue to the frame. And it's like, arc glitter glue is like one of my... It is my go-to liquid adhesive because I like that it dries fast and quickly so you don't have to really spend much time waiting for it to dry. You pretty much, within seconds, it'll grab onto this paper. So carefully, I'm going to do my best to line it up. And if, if I don't line it up, I'm okay as long as it gets on there. So that's what I tell myself all the time. So there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and add some arc glitter glue to my foam squares. This just allows me a little bit of wiggle room so it doesn't automatically want, it wants to grab automatically. So this allows me to move it around. I'm just going to basically put it right into where it, the die cut. Then it'll be 3D. And there is our card for today. Now, how easy was that? Like, it doesn't get much easier than that card. So, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when the notification bell comes in, make sure you hit that so you get notified anytime I go live or anytime I put on a new video. And also, make sure if you like this video, please hit that big thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And all my social media is also linked down in the description box below. And again, thank you all for joining me today. And y'all have a crafty day, y'all.